Hey, welcome back, guys. I purposely waited to do this video because I wanted to give everyone ample time to catch up on the finale before addressing the latest elephant in the room. So for those who, for some odd reason, have not watched the finale, go watch that first before absorbing the gems I'm about to bestow upon you. Last disclaimer, a spoiler alert is now in effect. Now let's get to this thing. I'm a soldier. I chose this life. These now cryptic words were spoken by Liliana in the season finale of Force's debut outing, and it literally encompasses her role throughout the 10-episode journey and beyond, if we're counting her Power Book 1 exploits. Liliana was a critical pillar to Tommy's segue into Chicago's underworld, offering him an unlikely number two to execute his business and reestablish his position in a world sans everyone he's ever known, including his mother, surrogate sister, and lifelong friend and brother. She was the only relic of his former life that could coexist in his new one, as the Chancellor had rightfully severed ties with Tariq due to the sins of the past. In this video, we'll outline Liliana's importance to Tommy's solo narrative and analyze just how much of a blunder it may have been for the Power Brass to prematurely kill her off. Before we begin, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and bell notification to immediately receive these videos. Also, big thank you to all of my channel donors. If you'd like to be the next one, drop a dollar on that cash app for us. And lastly, a spoiler alert is now in effect for all things power. Here we go. We were introduced to Liliana in Force Episode 102, and in the craziest of circumstances. The long hidden character attacked Tommy during his early acclimation to Chicago under the potential threat of death that he posed to her given their previous interactions nearly a decade ago. After tracking her down to ultimately finish the job, he stumbled upon a gold mine, a hub of narcotics that simultaneously served as the gateway to his future in the new city. Understanding the scarce state of his predicament and lacking in the ally department, he formed a strictly working relationship with Liliana, one that would flourish into an all-out partnership throughout the remainder of the season. Lily turned out to be a valuable asset to Tommy, helping him carry out a variety of tasks beneficial to his drug lord motivations in a new environment, including cutting his first brick, running his lab, and expanding his interests through the local club scene, the latter of which he held much experience in via the Ghost Man. Lily also encountered several life-threatening situations while partnered with the castle mostly due to her past sins in the drug game, sins that required Tommy to play the savior role in preserving her life and his budding position in Chicago's underworld simultaneously. All of these experiences brought the unlikely pair closer, forging their inconceivable bond into something unshakable, impregnable, and strong. In addition to her street prowess, Lily also maintained personal qualities that cemented her presence with the power fandom. She was likable, witty, easy on the eyes, and most importantly, solid as a rock. She was the only person Tommy fully trusted, the only one he could rely upon for support and loyalty throughout his crazy ongoings over this first solo run. With all of that in mind, why would the writers choose to execute the partner Tommy never knew he needed, the one that supplemented his ambitions in light of his brother's demise, loss of his family, and abdication from his former home? The answer possibly lies under several justifications. For one, her death is indicative of the unfair nature of life and the game itself by extension. It serves as an age-old reminder that there are no guarantees in this shit. And once your number's up, it simply is what it is. A harsh reality we just have to accept, no doubt. We had to accept it with Kanan, we had to accept it with Angela, and most painfully, we had to accept it with the Ghost Man a death that still divides much of the power fan base to this very day. Liliana is no exception to the rule, and on the contrary, it's almost a necessary reminder to its cruel existence. The game is the game, and as the scripture says, the wages of sin is death. But there's more. Her death also ensures your investment as a viewer, something that the creators know all too well. A great loss is accompanied by greater pain, and once that hurt transforms into anger, then it's lights out for any and all offenders, which only serves to buttress the premiere numbers for season two, a saga that will surely find Tommy on a rampage against those who robbed him of one of his greatest pairings since Ghost, if Joe Sakura's tweets are any indication, that is. Finally, her death opens up a slot in the number two department for another character to fill, 
That character will most likely be Diamond, who next to Lily, shared a solid relationship with Tommy that was initially based in business, but ultimately transcended it. The two gangsters of a feather represented a similar time with similar rules, and their old school sensibilities played into the formation of their bond and destruction of Diamond and Gennard's. The latter viewed Tommy as a threat to all that he's built due to his influence on Diamond and civil disposition towards him, which resulted in a near fatal dispute between the brothers that ended in severance and bitterness. Thus, Diamond and Tommy share one major thing in common going into season two, their independence. As interesting as Lily's possible replacement might be, it doesn't lessen the blow of her demise, nor offers anything new to the power dynamic that now ceases to be. We've already seen Tommy in drug partnership with another man, a black one at that. However, a female partner was a new look for Tommy's new story, and an engaging one given their strictly business dynamic and potential for supremacy in Chicago's competitive underworld. In that regard, Liliana's death represents a major missed opportunity for Tommy's spinoff. It reduces her character to merely a bridge between Tommy's old life and his new one in hindsight. And that's a shame, because it was on the cusp of being something so much greater. Imagine Lily being a cornerstone to Tommy's epic and not simply a branch easily dispensable by the tree that bears it. A few seasons of her and Tommy tearing up Chicago together would have been ideal, considering how the narrative was playing out on a foundational level. Then, perhaps in season three or four, Tommy loses his longtime partner in the line of fire due to something more earned than forced, no pun intended. After all, one of the mainstays of Power's death system hasn't been an episode count or demand, but a series of unforgivable circumstances resulting in removal. It's a character's transgressions historically that contributes to their downfall. And without question, Liliana had some. However, her devotion to the team and capabilities therein far outweighed any mistakes she made along the way. Those would apply to someone like Claudia, who undermined her father, murdered her initial supplier, murdered another former ally after ghosting him, and ultimately betrayed her own budding empire in the name of a lie. Or Jannard, who plotted against his brother, tried to kill a potential ally, brokered an unauthorized deal with a maniac in a new city, and tried to assassinate his own brother in a failed mutiny, an action more than worthy of death. Alas, these treacherous ploys were glossed over in favor of Tommy's de facto number two and early series fan favorite, Liliana, for reasons I previously stated, but ultimately don't know for certain. What is known is that Liliana will most certainly be missed, as can be easily seen by the outpouring of love and support for the unlikely protagonist via social media and beyond. They flirted with her death through captivity, beatings, and torture all season long, finally extinguishing her life in the controversial conclusion to the four season one finale. But so long as Tommy's journey continues, so will her legacy, as it was Lily's early assistance that even placed Tommy in the driver's seat to start. Such a reality mandates vengeance against her killer, and I hope that for us all, it served as cold as he can possibly prepare it. But what are your thoughts on all of this? How do you feel about Liliana's contributions to the show and her subsequent demise? Be sure to drop me your opinions in the comments below. As always, I thank you for watching today's video. If you liked today's video, go ahead and drop a dollar on that cash app for us, hit the like button, share it with your friends who are power fans, and subscribe for more content such as this. This is Rudy P. Magic of Rudy P. Magic Beats, and I have a blessed one until the next one. Peace, y'all.